I've got a Moto Razor here, 2024 version, not the Plus. A few days ago, I did some comparison photos using a Pixel 7a to this phone. And overall, this phone didn't fare too well. The Pixel did a better job with photography, which is no surprise. The Pixel phones are very highly rated for their photography quality. Then I went and discovered something called Gcam, which is a project where they take the Pixel camera apps, modify them so you can sideload them on other Android phones, like the Moto Razr. So I did that, and I was, I was very surprised. The photography is greatly improved on this phone to the point where it's as good as a Pixel in most cases. It does not do good nighttime photography with the Pixel app, so you would have to keep the Moto app active for nighttime. But here's the really odd part. After sideloading the Pixel camera app, it improved the Moto app photography. So all I can assume is that there's a library that is shared between these two camera apps and that the Pixel has a better library for doing some of the camera work. I've got some sample pics. You can see the differences between the uh, Moto app and the Pixel camera app. And I also will walk you through sideloading and downloading the Gcam app on your Moto Razr. Here's a good example of how the Moto app does not do too well in bright sunlight. You can see the trees are way too sharp. The lawn is just too overprocessed here. It doesn't look like that. It almost looks like sandpaper. It needs a softer look like you see here using the Pixel app. The trees have a very natural look to them. The colors are toned down correctly. And the Moto app just does this constantly too much where it just over sharpens the photo. Here's another photo example of basically the same thing. You can see the, the lawn is just a little too sharp. It's more calmed down. It just has a more relaxed look to it on the Pixel app, which is the way the lawn looks to me when you look at it. Overall, the skies are both excellent, which was a problem before I sideloaded the app. Before, every sky photo I took with the Moto was having a purplish tint to it along the tree line edges. There was always a purple tint here going on. And ever since I sideloaded the app, it fixed the Moto problem. But overall, the Pixel still has a, a better look to it because it's not over-processing and making the photos look too sharp. Here's a good example again of this tree. It's just too sharp versus here. It just looks more natural. It's a little bit darker green, which is the way it actually looks. The skies are excellent on both of these photos, which again, did not look good before I sideloaded the, um, the app. Here's some Mexican petunias, and you can see how the Moto, uh, it, they're blown out. It needed to tone down the, the photo, and it didn't do a good job of that. The Pixel nailed it. This is exactly how they look, that darker purple color. The green is exactly how it should look. It's not blown out like it is here on the Moto app. Here, both cameras did a great job. But it's obvious that this flower is slightly out of focus with the Pixel app, or it's not as sharp. Where here, it is, or it looks perfectly in focus, but the color is wrong. This is how the color looks on the flower. It's a little too bright here. And again, this is also a bit too sharp. This is how I would prefer for this to look. But this is a little disturbing that this looks out of focus. I'm not sure what that's about. This photo was, even though it's outdoors, it's on a screened-in porch, so it was fairly shadowy here. 
Uh, overall, they, they both photos look great. There's not too much of a difference except that this swan, the yellow is deeper colored here, which is the accurate color of the swan. We're here on the moto, it's a little bit of a lighter yellow. But overall, they're both excellent uh, photos. Now here, this is a semi-close-up pic, and I will say I prefer the moto here because it takes a sharper picture. Everything looks more in focus. Where you look at uh, the robot here from the Jetsons, uh, she's just slightly out of focus. Where on the moto app, it's perfectly in focus. The same with C-3PO. It's a much sharper pic here. Now this is a indoor pick taken with no actual room light except for this plasma ball. And this is not right. This is not how it looks. It doesn't have all that whiteness going on. This is a much more accurate view of how that actual plasma ball looks at, in, in a dark room. And there's also a lot more grain against the wall, which is not good. Now here, this is also indoor, but for some reason, the Moto app is just blowing the uh, the light here. It's not this bright, and you can see from the uh, the cabinet, it doesn't have the right color for the uh, the wood. So the Pixel's doing a much better job of toning it down. Again, though, the Moto is a little bit sharper on these M and M's, which looks better. But because it's so blown out, this is not a good photo. I'd much prefer the pixel here. Now here, they're almost the same, but again, it's a little bit sharper on the moto. You can see here, it's amplifying the differences in the metal with the coloring. Where here, it's a little bit more toned down. It's a little bit smoother looking. So this one's a tough call. I mean, I like the sharpness of the sail here. This is definitely a sharper look. We're on the pixel. It's not quite so sharp. Uh, so this is a tough call, which is really a better photo. Now, this is where, right now, the pixel app is not doing well on nighttime photography. I was very disappointed. The garage lights are blown out on the pixel. I mean, this is bad. This is not good at all. The Moto nailed it. The garage lights are exactly how they should look. Um, obviously, it's a little bit brighter on this bush. And again, the flowers are a lot more sharper because it's always sharpening the photos, in my opinion, a little bit too much. But here, I showed the ISO setting differences. It's quite a bit difference on the ISO and the shutter speed. So the shutter speed is what's causing the problem here on the pixel app and I don't know why it's constantly picking the wrong shutter speed. This is something that probably could be tuned in the config file but I'm not that advanced yet on how to tune the config file for the pixel side loading. Here's another good example at night. Uh, the pixel did not do a good job. These cars in the distance here are white as you can see and the Moto app, it got the color right. The street lamp is more toned down. Now the sky has a lot more green to it on the Moto versus the Pixel. Uh, the grass is more accurately colored on the Pixel app, but it it's out of focus because the shutter speed is too slow. So this is a, a tough one overall because I don't know how you could pick a better photo here because I don't personally like either photo the way they turned out. Here's another example of some nighttime photography with a lot of light, a street lamp in the distance. There's an owl here with some LEDs on it. And you can see on the pixel, the LEDs are blown out. Uh, the flowers also are out of focus on the pixel because, again, the shutter speed is too slow. That's just too slow of a shutter speed to handheld, handhold the, uh, the camera. So overall, in this case, the Moto pick is doing a much better job. I'd much prefer to take the Moto pick. 
And that's it. Those are the samples I've done. And we'll move on to, I'll show you how to sideload the, uh, the app. All right, this is the website that you use to download Pixel camera apps for other phones. It's called Gcam Hub. I will put the link to this site in the YouTube description. There are various modders that take these Pixel phone apps and modifying them so that they can run on non-Pixel phones. The BSG modder is the one that's recommended for Motorola. There's other modders out here. It could be some of them will work with the Moto phones, but from what I've read, the BSG is the modder to go with. So you pick the BSG person, and then they'll show you what camera apps he's, over the months or years, converted. So the most recent version is the 9.2. That's the one I test it with. And this is the version we're going to try to install. But this could be sometime in the future when you're watching this video. And I would, I would always take the latest version that's available. Okay, to sideload the Pixel app to your Moto Razor phone, you need to have this link. I will put this link in the YouTube description. Now, since the YouTube video doesn't exist yet, I emailed the link to myself. So we'll touch the link. It's going to bring up this um, Gcam hub site, which disappointingly has a lot of ads on it. And we're always going to go for the latest version of the camera, which in this case is highlighted in red as BSG 9.2. So we're going to touch that one. Then you have an option to pick the versions. The one you want is the snap version. So it's the first one, 9.2, 113A11, B23, snap. Touch that. It's going to start downloading the file. When that menu goes away, it's not done yet. You wait till you see that check mark up there. Once it's downloaded, you can press the open button. Now, in this case, I'm getting an update message because I already installed it. In your case, you're not going to get that. It's going to be a first-time install. You are also going to get a security message that you're going to have to update for Chrome to allow installing apps from unknown sources. So just follow the prompts and slide that button over to allow the app to be sideloaded. I'm not going to do the update since I already installed the app. Now you can flick up to the top. The camera app is already installed on mine on the main screen. You're not going to have that. So you're going to open the app drawer and you're going to see the camera app right here. The camera app is the one to the far right on my particular app drawer. The Moto app, the Moto camera app, is the one next to the calculator. You can see it has those multi colors on the camera, where the Pixel camera app is more vanilla looking. So anyway, you'll drag that to the main screen or wherever you want to put it on your, on your phone. And then you can launch it. If for some reason it doesn't launch and it bombs out, go to Settings, Apps, the Google Camera app, and clear the cache. Don't clear the storage, just clear the cache, and that'll solve that problem. So here we have an app that looks very similar to what we're used to. It is different than the Moto app. There's definitely differences. The only thing that I'm missing that I'd like to see is the Google Lens. You don't get the Google Lens option here until you take the picture. Like, let's bring up the, the Moto app. The Moto app, as you can see, you get the Google Lens button to the far left here. You do not get that on the Pixel app. So on the Pixel app, you will, you will have to take the picture of the, the, the object like in this case, I'll take a picture of that keyboard. And then once the keyboard has a picture, you can touch the picture here. And then you get the Google Lens option on the bottom next to the Delete button. And then you can hit Google Lens over there and figure out what it is. So there's a subtle difference there. 
Also, on the Motorola app, you get a few options here, like macro mode. You get these three circles here, which allows you to pick different lighting of what the photo should look like when you want to take the picture. You don't get those options on the, the Google Pixel app. So there are some subtle differences there, but the, the, the picture is so much better with the Google Pixel camera, you're going to want to use it.